lowest price ever advertised on this channel right now today only for 49 dollars email me right now ogod at hiphopun.com be ready to yes, sir. join in with us today let's start off with fat boy ssc right because you know um We've been following his career. Obviously, he came into the industry doing Instagram skits, blew up to movies, rapping, things like that. Um, yesterday, a video came out of him going back and forth with his wife. They got into a little, a little bit of context for the people out there. I don't know how true this is, but I did see his wife in the video with a Bay Area rapper. I don't know if she's dealing with him or whatnot, but a lot of people were saying that could be one of the reasons they're going through some turmoil right now like a lot of relationships do she's in a video with this dude and whatnot and from the the headline that i seen it says so and so took fat boy's wife don't know if it's true mm. but she was in a the video then we see this incident at a nail shop where it got pretty testy what's your thoughts when you seen the video man um i'm not surprised nah but let me let me let me say this though because a lot of the narrative is he's an abuser he he he's this he's that now i seen a heated altercation i seen him make a mistake and and make a real bad mistake in the fact that no matter how that looked or how you meant to to do it, it was going to look terrible on camera. It was going to look terrible in the public eye. So you should have been smarter about your moves and getting your belongings back. That's why I think it looked bad. Now, do I think that he hit her on camera, did anything crazy like that? I didn't see that on camera. And there are rumors going around. I didn't hear any audio that he said he was going effing kill her or something like that. I didn't hear that either. Right. But it's corny, and and and, and let's get to the, to the to the real nuts and bolts of this situation because we talked about it years ago. And we don't like pe being in people's business, but the women I ain't that you ride she with, a gold digger, like, oh, not glad. she ain't fucking with no broke niggas, <laughs> and maybe that's why she stopped. But see, damn, when we when we get into relationships, when you start getting into fame, start doing these certain things. The women that ride with you when you have nothing are the ones that you're supposed to ride with when you have it all. Yeah, because the ones that come around. When you start having a little bit, they looking at you for the money. You looking at it as some elevated punani. And there's no real love or genuine partnership in that situation at all. Then you went and got her pregnant. Then you went and had a kid with her. So now you're going to owe her for the rest of your life. And you just made a lot of Hollywood mistakes getting money, not That's knowing all. what to do with it. And now you're looking crazy, bro. I, I don't wish anything bad on you, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna be, uh, I'd be lying if I said I'm, I'm surprised. I ain't surprised one bit. I'm going to put it like this. Y'all see she ain't want to give up that phone, right? Because mm -hmm. you look at the little altercation. It was he was trying to get the phone from her, and she she was fighting on for life. That's usually like the man. Like, let me see your phone. I don't know if you see the joint when the, uh, the wife was like, "Let me see your phone." He just threw it against the wall. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that's what that situation was like. But let's go back to before when Fat Boy. He had the, the shorty from Irvington, wherever she was from in Jersey. I forget her name. They was rocking out. You know what I mean? Light skin joint or whatever. He meets this chick. I think she's from the West Coast. Better version. But gold digging. And we've seen it from the beginning. We're a little older probably than Fat Boy. We've been around, so we've seen. But we got a chance to say, like, oh, she with this dude for the bread. Yep. She for the opportunity, the bread, the allure. Yep. And just yep. like yep. you said, like it's hard to it's gonna be hard to find true love once you actually made it. Cause you never know. A woman can mask if she what well, she's really with you for. She can love you, and this, that, and the third, and this, that, and the third, and act like she loves you. But as soon as you go broke or lose a couple of dollars, she going to the next thing smoking. The hot Bay Area rapper. And sorry, dog, I don't know your name. No disrespect, right? The hot dude. She in the video with him. We seen that this chick wanted the spotlight. She wanted to be with the dude. And this is what they talk about the hypergamy shit. They talk about that in the manosphere about how a woman she will monkey branch. You know what I mean? To the next more higher value man that got more money, more status, bigger muscles, whatever. And that's, it appears like that's what we seen. I'm not saying Fat Boy probably wasn't doing this thing. I'm sure he was. But your girl jumped over. She monkey branch, you know I mean, to another dude. And um, in that situation, I get how it gets. Domestics, woman, she messed with another dude. He looked like he was trying to get keys to a car. So he probably bought a car for her, was paying for the whip. Because I don't think she works. I think he's made the major breadwinner. He like, if you want to mess with another dude, or whatever case may be, get my keys back. But you can't handle it in that type of situation. You know what I mean? You just can't. Especially now the nail lady, whoever that was, done sold you out. 
I done sold the video to TMZ and whoever she sold it to. It's just a bad situation. But this type of stuff happens all the time, not just in black households, all different types of households. Oh, yeah. You see different things like this happen all the time. I just don't, I don't think it was like malicious, like we went in and started giving her a body shot. Right. It wasn't that. It looked like he just flexed his muscle. Like, man, give me that shit. And she fell. That's what it looked like to me. Not saying I condone it. No, I don't condone it at all. But yeah, that, that's my that's my you know spell on it. You got to be smarter than that, dog. Especially yeah. if she out here fucking around with other dudes, she don't care. You a sucker for even trying to look in the phone. That's some high school shit. Be yeah, be, be a stronger man in yeah. that. Like effort. Give me my whip. She don't give you whip. Okay, cool. Report that motherfucker stolen. Get it towed back to the crib. Have her walking from wherever she's at. You know what I mean? And 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 be done with it. Be on some king shit. Like nah, I got plenty of women I could deal with. I'm gonna take care of my seed. I'm going to leave this hoe alone, and I'm going to move on as it is. Some dudes just want to see their woman getting back shots from other dudes. It seems like it's, I, mean, I think it's that. Like, I don't, don't want to look into it. You want to see the D pictures. You want to see her, you know, whatever she's doing with another dude. Because it's, it's, it's going to be in the phone. That's why she's holding the phone like that. She don't want you to see what's going on in the phone. But, hey, man, it happens in relationships, bro. Like, I'm not, you know, it's not like no shot to that fat boy or none of that. It's just a lesson that you live and you learn, man. Go back nah. to that shorty in Jersey, man. She might have looked as good, but she would have rolled with you through all this shit. Yep. And the tape would have never ended up in TMZ or Hollywood Unlocked either. Just because they swallow, it don't mean they love you. Damn. It's the truth. Shit Ain't it crazy good. how we seen that shit from the beginning? We called it. Like, man, this chick, man, like, yo, she good. She looked good and all that. It just didn't look, it didn't feel genuine on either side. It just, everything about it looked fabricated. And that's kind of where, I think that was starting at the beginning of, this shit is really... Not what it's all cracked up to be visually. Yeah. Even with Fat Boy, because we watched him. Hell, when we were starting out, I know when I personally was starting out, that's when he was at the Breakfast Club doing the stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was right around the same time, so I was rooting for that dude, <laughs> especially being from Jersey. Even though I, I, the love from Jersey is never really reciprocated, but that's another tar- story for another day. <laughs> yeah, but um, only nah, we man, do only us. Yeah, only we but, try to, right? Yeah, but yeah, man. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. Shit. Yeah, at the end of the day, man. I mean. That's all I got to say about it, too. Meek Mill, man, responded to our brother D1 yesterday. We, we put the video up yesterday at D1, you know, calling Meek Mill out and other artists. Like you said, pretty much calling him a hypocrite. 